I want to find, here's the graph of x squared plus 2 on the interval 0 to 3. I want to make three subintervals, but I'm making my rectangles using midpoints. So as you can tell, if it's 0 to 3, do you understand? Here's my subintervals. They're each a width of 1. But to make my rectangle, we don't use the left or the right. We use the midpoint. So from here, we go straight up. and we make a rectangle. From here, you go straight up, you make a rectangle. From here, you go straight up, you make a rectangle. Can you tell how much more accurate this is? Midpoint tends to be a lot more accurate, but it's also a lot of times a lot more annoying because sometimes you get fractions you have to deal with. Now, is it easy to tell the height by looking at the graph of each rectangle? No. So for this particular problem, you're going to have to plug it into the equation. Now, what is the width of each of these boxes? The width is 1. So the formula, sorry, by the way, the formula is the width to say the area under the curve is equal to the width times f of something plus f of something plus f of something. Are we okay with that? What is the width? Well, isn't our width 1? So can I replace that w with a 1? Is that okay? The width of 1. Now, what f of what? Well, what did we plug in to get the height of that first rectangle? Then we plug in 1 half. Now, if your rectangle was too wide, would the middle be 1? Yes. But in this situation, the middle is 1 half. What's the middle of the second rectangle? Isn't that 3 over 2? And the middle of the next one is 5 over 2? So what we have to do is we have to go to the formula now. The area is going to be, can I drop the 1? Since it's 1, it's pretty simple. We're simply going to do f of 1 half means 1 half squared plus 2. And then we have plus 3 over 2 squared plus 2 plus 5 over 2 squared plus 2. Gets a little bit ugly. So this becomes 1 fourth. 1 fourth plus 2. Actually, can we ignore these 2's? Can we just go 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 6? Is that okay? Can I go and add these real quick? Because is there any... Are you okay with that? Add all those, we have 6. So what's 1 half squared, wouldn't that be 1 fourth? Plus 3 half squared, isn't that going to be 9 fourths? And then plus 25 fourths? Does that look right? So my area is 6 plus what's 10, 35 fourths. And how do we change, what are we going to change 6 to to make it a 4? We'll multiply by 4, so what that be 24 fourths plus 35 fourths. So it looks like we have 59 fourths. That would be the area. Unit squared, if you want to put that. The area under the curve would be 59 fourths, which is a, a little bit less than 15, like 4.25, 4.75. Okay. Isn't it, wait, not 4.7, it's 14.75, uh, I think. 14.75, you don't have to put that, but that's what it would be. Now, the next one, that's midpoint rule. 
trapezoids is what we're going to do is we're going to take this and take each edge but make a trapezoid. Again, we're doing three intervals. So we take where it hits and we make trapezoids. Can you see how accurate these are? The trapezoids are hecka accurate because they tend to fit it well. Then the more trapezoids you have, the more accurate it gets. So it's a little bit different. Okay, for trapezoids, your area is going to be what's the width of all these? <coughs> well, isn't the width the height? Yeah. And isn't all of them? Aren't all of them going to have one half too? So can I take h over 2? So can I do 1 half times the height, which is 1, right? Can I take that and put it out front? Because for all these, is it the same? Okay. Okay. Now, we want to, we have to do b plus, b1 plus b2 for each one, correct? So b1, well, I'm going to write it out the long way. Isn't that going to be f of 0 plus f of 1? Isn't that the first piece? Just so you can see it. You'll see why later on. And then for the next piece, isn't it f of 1 plus f of 2? And then isn't it f of 2? plus f of 3. Now, look real carefully. How many times do we have f of 1? Twice. I'm going to simplify this formula. I want you to see a formula here. Isn't this just going to be 1 half? Isn't it going to be f of 0 plus 2 f of 1 plus 2, aren't there 2f of 2 plus f of 3? Would that always be the case? Would the ends always be once and everything in the middle be doubled? That is very, very important you spot that. It will always happen, the trapezoid rule. Got it? The middle ones will always be doubled because you're always going to have two of them. Because isn't this middle lake shared by both sides? The edges are only counted once. Everything in the middle is going to be counted twice. So that's a good shortcut. You can jump right to the shortcut. Okay. So you have area, one half. What is f of zero? Well, was that two? By looking at the graph, you can see it on this one. So that's two f of 1, what's f of 1? Was it 3? If you didn't have a nice graph, do you understand you'd be plugging it in right now? Plus, what's f of 2? 6. And then we have f of 3, which is 11. So my area is 1 half and then we have 2 plus 6 plus 12 plus 11. Which is 1 half, and that'd be what? 8, 10, 20, 31? Does that look right? Yeah. So my area is 31 over 2, which is a pro which is equal to what? 15.5. Either of these work. Are these close? Are they pretty close? Yeah. Again, this usually is the most accurate. This is the second most accurate. The left and right are kind of stupid, but you still got to do them. They're not very accurate. 